Hey guys, now this is a new video, and guess what? It's a galactic puzzle, so enjoy. This is a red dwarf. He just got born. And right below him is a black hole. He also just got born. Black hole ha says hello to red dwarf. The red dwarf starts to get slowly sucked in. And he says, stop. And then Black Hole ejects him out into the outer space. There he was, alone again. He was going to grow up. And... He grew up a little bit, but still hadn't had enough energy to sustain himself. So, he decided to turn into and find a white hole. White hole was really kind to him. Instead of instead of sucking him in, he kept getting uh, he kept moving forward, and that seemed to work quite well. He said to White Hole, Hey, little buddy, I found a black hole right over there. He almost sucked me in, but he ejected me out. So, White Hole responded, Well, at least you don't get flung way too far away. Black Hole heard th they both talking, so he came closer. And he said, hey guys, wah! And then uh, White Hole eject it himself over out of Black Hole's reach, and then she ejected again, and again, and again, until... New, uh, the white hole and the normal little red door into each other. Turned into a neutron star. Ooh, hello. 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 Hello bigger than black holes. And guess what? Neutron stars can turn things really weird. Yep. Oh jeez, look at this. Something happened. Something really beautiful happened. Something majestic, out of the ordinary, and far more beautiful than anyone else. It was a okay, it's not really that special. The thing. Yes, the thing is a white, I mean, a, a yellow dwarf. It was close around to the same size as Neutron Star. Now, Neutron Star decided to call his twin. 
And they both decided to hang on the other sides of each other. They can still call each other from there. And they always talk to each other. Except Black Hole. Black Hole was so lonely then. And then, when the two neutron stars and the yellow dwarf decide to talk to him, he said, Fine, I'm leaving. Nobody will want to give me any attention. I will not let you talk to me ever again. But then, the new, two new trusters said, No, wait, we forgot to give you a present. And he said, Is it really more better than a friend? Maybe it's exactly that. Another black hole had a bigger event horizon. But he was happy that now that his friends also had a nice time to play, he was happy that he did too. His friends, this guy's friend, also brought him his friend. Yeah. And it was almost like a smooth sailing from there until one day. A white dwarf in the distance was crying for help. And when they decided, when the neutron stars decided to go check, <coughs> the white, uh, I mean the yellow dwarf also decided to check too. The white dwarf was cracked. Half of it went missing. The team said, what happened? Then the white dwarf decided to say, distance though. It was something more bigger, more powerful, and definitely way more stronger. They decided to check out what was wrong, and they realized the black hole didn't actually swallow it up. He only took it away by using his powers. But just as they thought they had found the culprit, something decided to struck. Disaster. In the distant area, somebody, uh, the yellow dwarf decided to say, Hey, what's that glowing thing in the distance? There was a nebula. A nebula is something like when this, a star dies or two stars collide, it will create this gigantic gas bomb. And over there in the distance looked like a nebula. So the team and the white dwarf decided to check out what was making that nebula. Isn't it obvious, eh? The nebulae moved closer and closer to them. And he also said, Hey, guys, I am a nebula. V.Y. Canis Majoris and you... <laughs> and another star that I don't know, maybe like you something, you, you, you... No, right, that's definitely not a name. You, no, that, that's it, that's it. So, uh, you, uh, V.Y. Canis, uh, V.Y. Canis Majoris and, oh, I remember. Um, V.Y. Canis, uh, Majoris and U.I. Scooty. Yeah, U.I. Scooty. 
the the most two most gigantic stars in the universe crashed together to create me. But it was quite small. Heck, it's because of chemical reactions. They started breaking down my most of my uh, hydrogen and helium, and also destroyed a little bit of um, nitrogen. And then White Dwarf began to start building his body again. Hmm, this is strange. How could White Dwarf build it back without much material? And White Dwarf said, Oh, it's just called natural reproduction. Because Nebula is close to me, he has a lot of minerals that, you know, stars need. So, some of the minerals started gathering around me and I started reproducing. And that's how he got this big, I guess. He's still really tiny.